Hi, my darlings. I'm back with you live. You know, when you have a bad hair day, sometimes you just want to put the pictures of the, the pre-pictures or whatever. But I figured I would do something live um, because it's more intimate and we're closer together. And it feels good like this. And I, and I love you very much. We are going to talk about Jay Charities. We're going back to Jay Charities, who is an amazing man. You can go on his channel, Jay Charities, and he has his email address. It's yourbigbrotherj at gmail.com. And his phone number is 305-325-12. And what we're going to talk about with Jay Charities is... Narcissists lie about your worth. You are great. You have some sort of greatness. you got to know that. And I, I can't fully see that about myself yet. Yeah. But I know it through study that they, they, they target people who have something great or good about them. Remember, the narcissists, <coughs> uh, they're good. They're not able to connect with it. They don't love themselves. See, narcissistic people will fool you that they're in love with themselves because how they brag and puff themselves up. But in reality, I've learned that the bragging and the puffing up is a fake or pseudo self-esteem that they actually do that because they actually don't love themselves. It's hard to think of that, but they do the opposite of what the truth is. So say, for instance, the narcissist feels insecure about their body. The narcissist will actually, in their Psycho they will they will uh, either make up fantasies and brag about their body, and you'll be like, "Oh, it'll be confusing." There is a message for you. I understand what he's saying that they will uh, uh, make up some craziness to, to brag about their body, even though they ain't got a muscle in their body. They're uh, vagabonds. Their body uh, is kind of uh, no. My knock didn't brag about his body. <laughs> Because he knew <laughs> he wasn't that just delusional. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, they will sit up there and try to put other people down and tear people down. But my narc, he knew he was in no position to try to brag about his body. Trust and believe. But like he says, yeah, they uh, target good people. You know, they always find people who have a lot going for them. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Okay, more messages. They're coming in. in. Yeah, when he met me, I had my stuff together. I'm paralegal, uh, working in the legal field. I live in a very, very nice uh, part of upstate New York where the crime rate is like non-existent. Uh, he saw that I had my life together. Of course he wanted that. Uh, I'm educated. People in my family, everyone in my family is highly educated. He wanted to be a part of that. He saw that we definitely were um, good. We had a lot of good things to offer. So he's telling the truth about that. Or they will put another person's body down just to say, and in their sick mind, it's like, at least I'm better than them. And so for, for them, they get gratification out of that person being low. So for five minutes, they're better than... You see, they, they will put somebody else's body down. My knock was good for that. Because he was telling me about some female that he had met. Yeah, she got a pretty face. But her body is like, she's too fat. You got, really? Do you have, I, I was like, like at, looking at him and I said, are you serious? Do you have any idea what you look like outside of clothes? And even with clothes. You're the last person on this planet that should ever sit around and try to talk about somebody's body. Not to mention a couple of other things that's all twisted up about this. Yo. Just so they could feel good about themselves, like he said. Well, baby, please. He, he don't even need to go there. Somebody, so therefore, they are high, if that makes any sense. These are observations. I'm not, I don't uh, have a psychology degree or anything like that. I, I'm just, just from experiencing it. Okay. I, I see what they do. It's like they, they, from experiencing it closely more than one time, they thrive off of somebody else being, I don't know what that's called, somebody out there in, in YouTube land could probably explain it more technically and in, in, uh, in, uh, in psychological terms, but when they put others down, it's like for five seconds they get this high about themselves. And so for you... Yeah, te technically and uh, professionally, it's called stupid. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> they choose or their victim, they target somebody <clears throat> usually with some form of greatness, but... But the, uh, uh, one thing I want to mention, it's usually people with greatness or good, and they're willing to give good. Uh, 
one of my relatives was telling me that you got to know that uh, the person you've dated, some of us would never even look twice at them. You look twice because you have an open caring. No, I look twice because he said he was a Taurus <laughs> and his mother was a Capricorn. Because like he said, some of these people that you have been with, you know, in reality, you wouldn't even look twice at them. This character, man, please, he was not my type at all. Not even close. Like I said, I, I stepped to him because I listened to him talk in the stress management class that we was in, we were in, and he said, I found out he was a Taurus and his mother was a Capricorn. If he would have said any other sign, that man would have never been a part of my life. That would have never happened. Never. Believe that. I was looking for a Taurus following horoscopes. Okay? Any female that's out there with him now? Something's wrong with her. She's a drug addict, an alcoholic. She's uh, a schizo. She's by something. Something is is definitely wrong, because these women ain't following horoscopes. I don't think. See, I did it for those purposes. I got hurt by a Taurus. I felt that it would take a Taurus to heal me. I didn't want no other sign. I just wanted a Taurus. He happened to be a Taurus. If he would have said Sagittarius, it, that would have so never happened ever. Heart, but. Other people would recognize in five seconds, like, "Hey, I'm not giving to you. I don't want to give to you. I, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't feel pity for you, and I don't want you in my life." But for good-hearted people, it works against us. Which I, now I'm learning, not even call it good-hearted codependence. People who have codependency issues or problems or whatever or disorders, we have this desire in us to give and to be good to others and so i'm not sure that's codependency what he's saying codependency is totally different i did a video on that you could check out what codependency really is i think uh what he's 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 um uh, saying is that we're empaths we're empathetic we we can understand how it feels like my 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 ex narc he had disabilities you know even though what attracted me was his sign and his mother was a Capricorn, I also got to see what he was about. He had his hand twisted like that and he had insecurities and he had disabilities, you know, a couple of disabilities. And I kind of fell for that. That's where he he's correct when he says that we're empaths. We see certain things about people and these narcissists, they know. They could tell that we're the type of people that's going to help. You know, that's just what we do. That's what I do. You know me, the girl who wants to you know, put on her cape and come to the rescue. <laughs> That's me. If you look at some of my other videos, and I tell you a lot of things. He got baptized two times. Somebody is uh, sending me a, a, a note right here. I will definitely look into those later. I have a whole list of notes coming up here. Anyway, love you people, and uh, let's go back. The narcissist really scopes out the land and says... Oh, yeah. It's like they, they target in on you because they know you, you're you the one that will feel sorry for them. You're the one that will worry about them. You're the one that will, uh, you know, give them that extra five dollars. You're the one that will say, you know what, you can stay with me until you get back on your feet. You are. We are that person. And because of your good, they take advantage of that. And that's why they, you know, they go after us. So don't believe the narcissist. Uh, what we call the, the and excuse my profanity for people get offended by, but no, I'm not doing the profanity in any way to uh, offend or to put down. But it's the only description. It's the only description. It, it's the describing. I know, you, sweetie, you, you I gotta fast forward that. Compliments when they start to put downs, you believe those too, but don't believe the put downs. It's all a mind game. You actually are wonderful, and a lot of times you are beautiful. You are, uh, uh, of course, you are. That's why they picked you. That's why they stepped to you. Uh, some people will call us suckers. We're a bunch of <laughs> lollipop, lollipop. <laughs> Don't you ever lose your sense of humor, darling. Anyway, uh, it's not suckers. We're empathetic and we are very compassionate people. And you know what? That's why we store so many treasures in heaven. I have so many treasures. My Heavenly Father has blessed me numerous times. You know? Numerous times. I wrote a book. My book is selling like hotcakes. Everything is falling into place. I have a great job. I have uh, uh, friends. I have my family. Even though my family needs a little work. I gotta, I gotta keep that real. Uh, yeah, let's keep that real. We need work. Uh, yeah. In a, but anyway, my Heavenly Father has blessed me. 
You know, you can't let this world change you just because they're rotten and they're evil and, and, and they're going to try to pull you, make you turn you into what they are. I pray on a regular basis to my Heavenly Father, please, Father, please don't let me become like the people out here in this world who are so miserable and these people who are so negative. Please let me always try to be the light, to try to uh, cheer people up and to be a blessing to people. Please, Jehovah, through Jesus Christ, I beg I don't want to become like these miserable, <clears throat> depressed, uh, can't see light at the end of the tunnel. Please, Father, don't let me become like that. I beg you so much, desperately, through Jesus Christ. Amen. So far, mm -hmm. he's been answering my prayers. You are great. You are uh, good-hearted. And that's why they choose you. That's why they choose you. And that's why they target it in on you and not the person standing right next to you. And then you're open and you're willing to give back. That's right. And that's uh, narcissistic supply for them. Well, isn't that excellent? Again, like that came from Jay Charities. You could go on his channel. Uh, I think I gave you his phone number, 305-300-2512. Along with his email address, yourbigbrotherj at gmail.com. Feel free to use it, darling. We're all going to try to build each other up. We're all trying to heal each other and trying to help each other. It doesn't matter where you get it from or who's doing what. The point is we're trying to help each other. That's the loving thing to do. That's what God would want us to do. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Sheila True Love, you always have a choice. Until next time, which we're going to go and talk about Blame the Narcissist. That's our next journey with Jay Charities. Okay, Sheila True Love, darling.